Uh, it definitely has some advantages in consideration that we are getting ready to undertake a major multi-million dollar project with the community center. But I've got some definite concerns about it. Uh, my three top concerns about this issue, uh, number one uh, is once when, when you outsource something like that, uh, that big of a project, uh, I'm concerned about the compliance aspect of it, of how do you ensure compliance when you have outsourced the management of that as far as federal regulations, state regulations, and just who is going to uh, oversee that uh, construction manager. I mean, or how, how do, what's the process for the city to follow up with the construction manager? He's building to a bill plan, but what, what does that look like? The city has never really done anything like this before that I know of. So there's some big, big question marks as to how, who oversees the overseer. The second big concern is the community benefit that Councilman Rutherford just brought up. Uh, that has to be written into this agreement. Uh, we need to know that, that whoever that construction manager is, because he will be in charge of bidding the contracts so we need to make sure that it's written in there some kind of workforce development plan. And uh, that needs to be written in. Uh, I, it, it can't be verbal. It needs to be a part of the plan. And then my third and biggest concern is I, I just don't know that the city of Pontiac has the organizational infrastructure, the maturity to really pull this off. It, it's great to be able to utilize the construction manager. I've done some research on it. it. It has positive advantages, but I don't know that we have the maturity. And somebody's going to have to really convince me that we've got the infrastructure in place that we can manage a, construct a construction manager process. That's, that's a major concern. Thank so. you. Mayor Grimal? Yeah, thank you, Councilwoman. I think those are all important questions. Um, I, I would just note that we, we historically have not done construction management in-house, so we're not outsourcing anything that we have historically done in-house. This is, and this isn't really about allowing for the hiring of a construction manager. That can already be done.